another installment of Pizza Sutra. We have something really special for you. Really, really special. It's a first time for us. So we're really excited to try it. But I have a question for you. Are you ready for some football? Today we're covering a football shaped pizza. It's also called football pizza, a Euro pizza, which we haven't done before and I'm really excited about. Uh, this pizza hails from Minnesota, but it's, it's actually a little farther than that. But we'll get into that later when we start talking more about the pizza. But, uh, you know, is this the superior shape for a pizza? We'll find out after we hut hut hike this into the oven. For our football pizza, preheat oven to 400 degrees, remove pizza from packaging, then bake football pizza 12 to 18 minutes, depending on oven type and cooking elevation. We all know the love for pizza is worldwide, but usually when we think about pizza, we think about places like Chicago, New York, and the birthplace of pizza, Italy, obviously. So we know that pizza is actually more than that, and it goes way farther. The love, it goes way out there. Football pizza started when Mirwais Azizi left his home country of Afghanistan when he was 13 in the 80s. He moved to Minneapolis in with his grandmother and got his first job at a bakery. Through high school, he worked at Pizza Hut and Papa John, sending money back to his family in Afghanistan. Bread has always been something that he really, really enjoyed and, you know, really liked. Uh, and he always wanted to open up his own bakery. He eventually did open up his own bakery where he sold naan, a traditional Afghan bread, sweets, and other breads. Eventually, he ended up selling, you know, Afghan food like kebabs, stews, and eventually, pizza. Azizi came up with the idea for the shape of the pie, that, that nice little football shape, because guess what? He really likes football. And up in Minnesota, they, they like football and sports a lot. The base of the pizza was none other than his own homemade bread recipe. Azizi, you know, in turn ended up putting, you know, Afghan traditional toppings on these pizzas like cilantro, onions, and spicy halal beef. What started out as a gimmick ended up being one of Minneapolis' most unique pizzas and also one of their best, most popular. They became so popular that he and his brothers were able to open a second restaurant. They simply named it Football Pizza. People drive from all over the place to go try this pie. And since then, recently they've been able to open up a frozen pizza line and that's how we here at Pizza Sutra here in Milwaukee was able to get one. I hear the two minute warning, so let's throw on our helmets and go tackle this pie! I definitely think we scored with this pizza. Look at this sucker. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So here is the first bite. Oh my goodness. This is definitely a unique tasting pie. The crust definitely is more similar to a bread or like a, like a pita bread, which is pretty wild and it has its own it definitely has its own flavor. The cheese is really good. It's really, it's really, it's like a, it's not like overly crispy or anything like that. Or when you undercook a pie, it tastes like it's fresh. It tastes, it tastes really fresh. It tastes really moist. The sauce, it's a very light sauce. And as you know, this is a Euro pizza and typically uh, I'd say that this isn't, it's not, see, here's a piece of gyro. It's not really overpowering because they're really, they're really small pieces of gyro meat. And it's, 
it's good euro meat too so i'm really excited about that there's a little bit of grease on it you see some good crustification back here the edge is definitely crispy and the cheese and the flavors i think kind of come out a little more on the edge of the pizza rather than the center of the pizza not as cooked not as much cooked over here compared to over here um but overall man this is a really really good pie yeah yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna finish this up and i'm gonna let the rest of the crew try some because they have to try it so let's do it so we took that football pizza all the way down to the end zone and here's what we have to say about it it was good all right no i'm kidding so for our crust for our crust we got a seven out of eight slices because that was actually a non-crust. Non? Is that how we say it? Non-crust. Okay. And that's an Afghani type of traditional like flatbread. And it was a totally different flavor and I enjoyed it a lot. For our sauce, we got a four out of eight slices because it was good sauce. I just don't think there was enough of it. But mind you, a four is still halfway, so that's still good. That's not bad. That's not bad. For our cheese, we got a six out of eight slices because that cheese was good. It was gooey. It was juicy. It was delicious. And there's a lot of it. And we all liked it a lot. For our toppings, we got a six out of eight slices because that gyro meat on with the cheese and it was it was a light flavor, <clears throat> but you could still notice it and it was still really good. That gives us an overall score of 5.75 overall so that's that's a pretty good score and you know that's considering that this is like a totally different type of pizza because with that kind of crust and that you know the kind of background that it comes from it's not your normal pizza so make sure you if you're in minneapolis or twin cities go grab one of these frozen pies or actually go to their football pizza restaurant and try it it'll blow your mind you've never had anything like it before so <laughs> So that being said, this is an awesome pie and I think you guys should try it. It was $11, I believe, is what the price point is. So it's a pretty expensive pie, but I would gladly pay that to try this again because, it, like I said, the flavor profile is just, you know, something completely different, something that we've never had. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, click, subscribe, do all that stuff and share with whoever you want to share with. The homeless guy down the street, share with him. He'll like it. I'm sure of it. Sometimes I look like a homeless, homeless guy. You might run into me. Anyway, guys, pizza is love. See you later. Bye.